Everybody heads up. Yes, there will be no bonnets <laughs> online. <laughs> At least not mine. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, I tell you what, I messed around and forgot to turn my camera off, and then well, I know I turned it off and made a mistake and hit to turn it on, and uh, it just let's just say I was at home that day. <laughs> it was early in the morning. I was like, oh no, no, no. So I get it. All righty. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, there we go. You know, it is so funny because all of these different um, platforms or different things like Zoom and YouTube and whatever else, they do these updates and you're like, okay, I have no idea. Y'all done changed the whole... They do these updates and change the whole... You're like, what in the world is going on? Okay, I know I'm on here, so we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Natalie Johnson Lee, and this is His Word in Us. Oh, well, we are so... We are just we are just love, in love with the Word of God. And as we learn and, and listen and read and become more and more familiar with the word of God um, together. And this is what the, the word of the Lord will do for you. As we read the word together and learn of him, we also get the beauty and the opportunity to learn of each other. And, um, and, and as we learn to love him more, we also learn to love one another more. So we're so thankful today to have the word of God before us, to be able to support each other, to, to, be, to be able to read the word, to hear the word, to respond to the word of God and just um and have that word in our lives for our 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 day-to-day -day activities because Lord knows as we start our day, we don't know what the day holds, but we know who holds the day. And we are so thankful that we serve a God um that's got it all together. Got it all together. All right. Is that our will? blessed today hallelujah all right let me pray we are in mark um 11 mark 11 oh that's some good stuff in here mark 11 mark 12 man it's just some good stuff in here and all of this but anyway i'm gonna read out of the christian standard bible today so let's get started let's get started with prayer thank you heavenly father most gracious lord we just thank you today for another opportunity to be in your word, to speak your word, to hear your word, to pray your word, to ponder your word, to respond to your word, to know that this is this is our instruction for life. So Lord, we thank you for that. But most of all, we thank you for you. We thank you for who you are. We praise you. We worship you. We magnify your name. We say hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Yahweh, El Elyon, um, Lord, Father God, Jehovah, Lord, Father God, um, uh, um, um, El, Lord, Father God, Yahweh, Lord, Father God, there are so many names for you. And there's, a, you know what the Lord, you are so faithful because there is a name for every situation. But if we don't know that name, all we have to do is call on the name of Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus. The Jesus is the name above every name. Every knee shall bow at the name of Jesus. So if you don't know the specific name of for God, for your situation, all you need to do is say Jesus because it covers it all. He covered it all. He died for it all. So we thank you, Lord, for Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And we thank you that he sits at your right hand interceding for each and every one of us. And Lord, we thank you because he intercedes for things that we have forgotten to intercede for. And Lord, we thank you when we pray that we say, Lord, um, do not grant it because we forgot to ask for it, Lord, Father God, because there are things that we may have thought about, wondered about, pondered about, but forgot to open up our mouth and 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 say it. But the Lord still heard our thoughts and has granted those prayers. So Lord, we thank you that you can even grant the prayers in our thoughts, Lord Father God. But Lord, most of all, we thank you for who you are. Mm, and as we read this word today, we pray that you help us to be to continue to be 
doers and keepers of the word, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that the meditations of our hearts and the words of our mouth are pleasing in thine sight. Oh, Lord, our rock and our redeemer. And Lord, we, we, we submit our attitudes to you. We submit our shortcomings to you, Lord, Father God. We submit that all so that when we do speak, error doesn't come out. When we do speak, life comes out. Lord, liberty comes out. Freedom, encouraging, encouragement, the truth. All the things that you represent. Lord, we just thank you and we praise you and we give you the honor and the glory. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 Okay. Let's see what we got going on this morning. Okay. Good morning to Aunt Gwen. Mm. Good morning to Renissa. Good morning to Sarita. Good morning to Anita. Good morning to Miss Tina. Good morning to Stu, Stu Leo. Good morning to uh, all those on YouTube that have yet to check in and good morning and or good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good, good day to those who are um, watching the replay. We thank you so much and we are blessed to have you here. All right, let's get started. We are in chapter 11 of Mark. I'm reading out of the Christian Holman. When they approached Jerusalem at Bethpage and Bethany near the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and told them, go into the village ahead of you. As soon as you enter it, you will find a colt there on which no one has ever sat. Untie it, bring it. If anyone says to you, excuse me, why are you doing this? Say the Lord needs it and will send it back right he here right away. So they went and found a colt outside in the, in the street, tied by a door. They untied it and some of those standing there said to them, what are you doing untying the colt? They answered, they, they answered them just as Jesus said, had said, so let them, so they let them go. They brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloths on it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloths on the road, and others spread leafy branches cut from the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes, blessed in the name of the Lord, blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David, Hosanna in the highest heaven. He went into Jerusalem and into the temple. After looking around at everything, since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. The next day when he went from the from Bethany, he was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree with leaves, he went out. He went to find out if there was anything on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was it was not the season for figs. He said to it, may no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard it. They came to Jerusalem and he went into the temple and began to throw out those buying and selling. He overturned the tables of the temple changers and the chairs of those selling doves and would not permit anyone to carry goods through the temple. He was teaching, me. He was teaching them. It is not written, my house will be called, a, it, is, is it not written, my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of thieves. The chief priests and the scribes heard it and started looking for a way to kill him, for they were afraid of him because the whole crowd was astonished by his teaching. Whenever evening came, they would go out to the city. Early in the morning, as they were passing by, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots up. Then Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you curse has withered. Jesus replied to them, have faith in God. I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes what that what he says will happen it will be done for him therefore before i tell you everything you everything you pray and ask for it believe that you, therefore i tell you everything you pray and ask for believe that you have received it it and it will be yours 
And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against another, anyone, forgive him so that your father in heaven will also forgive you, forgive you your wrongdoing. Then came, then came again, they came again to Jerusalem as he was walking in the temple. The chief priests, the scribes, and the elders came and asked him, by what authority are you doing these things? Who gave you this authority to do these things? And Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question, then answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was John's baptism from heaven or human origin? Answer me. They discussed it among themselves. If we say from heaven, he will say, then why didn't you believe him? But if we say of human origin, they were afraid of the crowd because everyone thought that John was truly a prophet. So they answered Jesus, we don't know. And Jesus said to them, neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. All right, chapter 11. Happy Friday. Good morning, key to you as well. All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about Jesus. Come on. Let's talk about um, what we hear, the den of thieves, the cursed tree. Come on. Mm. The donkey, the cleansing of the temple. Come on. Mm, having his a uh, challenge authority. Who do you, you know? He had already asked the disciples, "Who do you say I am?" And um, mm, my Lord, my God. So let's go. Hmm. You know, one of the things that um, I read the scripture and I read it in a couple of different versions and I don't know, it it, it spoke to me different today. And I read this the scripture, I've read the scripture and people quote the scripture all the time. Um, and there is, um, it's 24, therefore I tell you everything you pray and ask for believe that you have received, not that you will receive, but that you have received it and it will be yours. And, um, you know, that's such a powerful scripture. And unfortunately, mm, unfortunately, people have taken it and, and just like they do certain scriptures of the Bible and just really made it almost to a point, and I'm not gonna say a joke, but they they they've been very um uh what I want to call it name it and claim it ish um about that scripture versus um the deeper the deeper meaning and the deeper understanding um and it's a powerful scripture it's a it, it is a powerful scripture because he's saying um in in the in living transition he says listen to me listen to me so that means he's saying this is real. You can pray for anything, if, and if you believe, you you will have it. You will have it. That's what the that's what the um, the New Living Translation says. And then I think there's a, a another one. I'm gonna look the one up in the Amplified Bible too. But um, and I think for me, what that does, what I read at this time, what I heard is that, and I know this to be true. And so it's, not, it's so this piece is not anything new, but what I, I heard it differently this time. Um, let's see in the um, NIV it says, "Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in for for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours." What I heard this time is um, it's a matter of a heart because so many times we do pray without believing, my Lord. We pray, we lift up a prayer. And have no faith in that prayer, no belief in that prayer. We lift up that prayer as a hope, but not as a uh, a belief that God will bring it to pass. And when I read it, when I read it today, and when I read it before, what I heard is 
posture your heart to know that I hear you. So that when you do pray, you don't doubt that you believe that I will do it. Um, and that's what I heard. And um, and it just it hit me. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna do some journaling around that today. But that one hit me um a little bit different today. And I and I read it a lot, but I think it also challenged me to make sure that, you know, and I pray, I pray, and 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 I when I pray, I truly believe again, we're gonna go back to that some of the scriptures that we talked about the other day, how sometimes we can pray and we can pray and and have fervent prayer and intentional prayer and belief in the prayer that we pray for others. But sometimes that prayer that we pray for ourselves, we go, if you would, please kind of sort of, please help me, that kind of thing, instead of saying, you know, and I think sometimes in that praying for ourselves, um, we may see it as an arrogance. Oh, you just think I'm just going, you know, or, or an assumption, but the Lord has said, that that same prayer that we pray for everybody else has the same power when we pray it for ourselves. So that's just a little tidbit. That's just the inside of my brain um, talking today. So I just wanted to share that with you. But there's a lot of good stuff in this in this in this um, chapter. So let's talk about it. What spoke to you? What did you hear? What is, was an aha? What came to you? Good morning. Good morning. It 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 just amazes me the way Jesus always responded, even though the questions that they came at him, they were trying to trap him in something. But he always spoke with wisdom. And I can always hear, don't answer my question with a question. But Jesus often asked questions of them before he would answer. And so a lot of times we just speak and speak and speak. But what's the motive, right? Because your true motive behind the question will come out by a clarifying question. So, you know, just that wisdom and how he answered the scribes and the Pharisees. Amen. Amen. I do that. Uh, I do that a lot. because I can, Because you know what? If you really listen, when someone's asking you, a, sometimes we'll just like blurt an answer out. I'll, I'll, but if you really listen, sometimes you can hear that there's something behind the question. And so instead of saying, mm, something behind that question, and just go ahead and answer, saying, okay, before I answer, let me let me get some clarity or let me ask you some questions. You know, and, and you know, if people will say, don't ask, a, don't answer a question with a question. No, I need to ask some questions because something. Something ain't, something ain't, something ain't right right now. So anyway, yeah, praise God. I like that. Anybody else have something they want to add? Good morning, Natalie. Good morning, everybody, actually. Good morning. You know, I love this, um, and it always makes me cry, no matter how many times I've read it, hear it, and in particular around, um, you know, Easter or resurrection time. Hosanna. Mm -hmm. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father, David. Hosanna in the highest. Oh, goodness. Amen. Yeah. And that's how much he loves us, right? Mm -hmm. To come for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It says the Greek transliteration of the Hebrew phrase means please save. Hosanna, please save. Amen. You know, and unfortunately, their understanding of it at that time was um, that they would be saved from the Roman government. Mm -hmm. But God, I thank God that it was so much more bigger than that. Mm -hmm. That he actually came for all of us, not just for them and to get them away from that that life. 
So I'm thankful for that verse. Mm -hmm. And it and it refers to um when I was reading that, one of the things that it refers to is Psalms uh 118 25. And it says, uh 118 25 says, Lord, save us. Lord, please grant us success. And then I went on, and the 25 6 says, He who comes in the name of the Lord is blessed. From the house of the Lord, we bless you. The Lord is God and has given us light. You are my God, and I will give you thanks. You are my God, I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Oh man, so um, when it talks about um, the tree, so in this in this commentary, it says ultimately Jesus's action is talking about the um, the fig tree. It says Jesus's action in this instance were symbolic, though the tree showed signs of life and productivity. In reality, it was barren. The same was true for Israel, especially in the case of their religious leaders. They looked righteous and godly on the outside, but on the inside, they were corrupt. Their lack of faith meant that they were also barren, producing no fruit for God. Many people today are like that too. They attend church regularly, carry fancy Bibles, and shout amen. But there's a lack of spiritual vitality inside them. Thus, there's no kingdom fruit in their lives. Mm. Amen. Amen. So, Stuleo say, Hubby and I came out of a word faith movement. God showed us he was sovereign. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God, hear God, believe God, ask God, uh, and line up with him. Stuleo, amen, yes, a lot, yes, line up, hear him, believe him, and ask him, and line up with him. Mm. Come on, yes, faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God, amen. Yes, it does. Praise God. Thank you for that, Suleo. Mm. And one last thing, just verses uh, 25 and 26, that talks about forgiveness when we go in prayer. Because a lot of times people think, well, I've yep. done somebody wrong, but I'm just going to go to God and forget about what I did to somebody else. So just that power and forgiveness yes. before you go to God in prayer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Because we definitely want him to forgive what we've done. Yes. So we have to be willing to forgive one another. And yes. I always tell people, you know, there's nothing that anybody has done to me worse than what they did to Jesus. And if he can forgive, come then on. surely I can forgive. Mm. Come on. Come on. Good morning, same old Gina Lee. And you know what's so interesting about that also, Sarita, is um is this is the deal. This is the one thing I believe. Ask for forgiveness and receive the forgiveness. You've got to be able to receive it. Because if you don't, if you don't believe that you can be forgiven, then you are going to have a hard time forgiving others. And so receive, posture your heart to know 
that when you go to God and ask for forgiveness, receive it, then because you you can't give what you can't receive. You've got to be able to receive his love and his forgiveness as well. Amen. Mm. Thank you for that. All right. Anybody else have anything else they want to add? You know, the last verse, 33, I love when Jesus answers and says, neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. In other words, yep, he didn't. <laughs> I believe it right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mind your business. Yeah, and you know what it says in this thing? It said they ask him the question, um, but they, you know, when they refuse to answer his question, he said it, they, they said admit that he, they had no interest in the truth, only in advancing their agenda because they were trying to trick him. They always tried to trick him. Um, that's what Sarita was saying. That's why she kept he, the way he answered because they was always trying to trick him. Oh, here we come with another trick. Here we come with another scheme. They were always trying to trying to get him. So. Mm. All right. Let's pray. If no one else has anything to add. Let's pray. Oh, gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, Father God, for this rich word this morning, Lord, Father God. We thank you, Lord, Father God, that we can cry out, Hosanna, 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 Hosanna in the highest, Ho Hosanna. And we thank you, Lord, Father God, that you did come to save us all. Lord God, we just thank you um, for your grace, your mercy, your protection. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your peace. Lord, we thank you, Lord, Father God, um, for just reminding us of, of, of how to ask for forgiveness, how to come to you for forgiveness. We thank you for reminding us, Lord, Father God, uh, that um, we need to be fruitful on the inside, not just the appearance uh, on the outside, but we need to be right on the inside. Lord, we thank you um, for uh, reminding us to be in alignment with you and what and what thus saith the Lord, uh, Lord Father God. We thank you, Lord Father God, that we can come to you in prayer and believing uh, what we pray for, Lord Father God, that we will receive it, Lord Father God. And we thank you, Lord Father God, that your answers are yes and amen. And Lord, Father God, and we know that when you answer, you answer every prayer. And it may not be the answer we want, but you answer, you answer our prayers, Lord, Father God. And we thank you for that. Lord, we thank you, Lord, Father God, that we don't have to come with you with trickery and, and trick questions. We can come with you directly with what's on our heart and what we need to know, Lord, Father God. And as we come to you, Lord, Father God, to seek your face, to seek your answers, help our hearts to be prepared. Because sometimes we have questions, that we're not ready for the answers. So, Lord, whatever the question is, let us be prepared for the answers and let us be obedient to follow what thus saith the Lord, Lord, Father God, and give us the courage, the wisdom to do so. Lord, I thank you this morning for the opportunity to pray. Lord, I pray, Lord, Father God, um, for uh, he's nine-year-old cousin, uh, Maya, Lord, Father God. We pray, Lord, Father God, and we thank you, Lord, Father God, um, that she got a new heart at John Hopkins, Lord, Father God, and we pray that all goes well. And uh, we give you praise and glory, Lord, Father God, that her heart was received, Lord, Father God, and that her body would accept it, accepted it, Lord, Father God. And we pray, Lord, Father God, for her life evermore, Lord, Father God. Lord, we thank you for the doctors. We thank you for the donor, Lord, Father God. We know that someone had to leave in order for her to be here, Lord, Father God. So we bless their family. We bless their loved ones. We lift them up, Lord, Father God. Um, and, we, and we ask you, Lord, Father God, to comfort them comfort them, Lord Father God, um, and 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 give them um a peace of mind and a and a and a, and a, and a relief knowing that their loved one um has served another, Lord Father God. So Lord, we 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 pray for their loss and we rejoice um for a gain, Lord Father God. And we know that Lord Father God that you are in all things, Lord Father God. So we know um and we just ask you to to care for each and every person involved in that situation, Lord Father God. Um, glory be the name of the God. glory to your name, Lord Father God. And Lord, we pray as we enter the weekend, as we continue, as, as we finish, quote unquote, this work week, Lord Father God, we thank you. We thank you that we made it through. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, Lord Father God, 
um, for your faithfulness, Lord, Father God. And we just say, Lord, Father God, let us give us the give us the wisdom to rest this weekend and pre prepare, Lord, Father God, to enjoy you, to enjoy family, and to enjoy the things that you have so so richly giving uh, given us to enjoy. So, Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We give you the honor and the glory, Lord, Father God. And I pray a blessing over each and every person at the sound of my voice, Lord, Father God. I extend that blessing, the blessing, love, peace, compassion, wisdom, um, honor, Lord, Father God. I extend that to uh, friends, family, and loved ones, Lord, Father God. We pray for our circle and the circle of influence, Lord, Father God. We pray, Lord, Father God, for our enemies. Lord, have mercy on their soul. Help, help them, Lord. Mm, help them, Lord. And Lord, we thank you for the gift of reconciliation. And we thank you, Lord, Father God, for the power of forgiveness, Lord, Father God. And we thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to, opportunity to repent. Lord, we pray that all come to the saving grace and knowledge of Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. And we pray these things in your name, Jesus. Amen and amen. 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 Ooh, that's great news, um, Key, that she was able to get a heart. Mm. 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 And we just pray God. We praise God for the donor and their family. Mm. Mm. So we know how organs go. But one to get one, one has to lose one. So we just give, we just, we just, we play ble blessings in God's peace and comfort, his protection and his love all around. All right. I send you in peace and love. And by his grace, I will see you tomorrow. Have the most amazing, amazing day. Okay, Jam got a song in here. It is... Another chance by the Dallas Fort Worth Mass Choir. All right, Jamboree. The Dallas Fort Worth Mass Choir. Girl. Hey, girl, know she be finding some songs. Amen and amen. Let me let me get it in the in the chat. And that, there we go. Here we go. Jam is our DJ for his word in us. I know, I know. I know she is. Amen. I had to check my mute because I was clapping all loud. <laughs> what your your what your body or you eating something? No, I was I was clapping at the oh you at what was being said, but I had to check my mute because you know I'm good for hitting the wrong button. Good word, good word. All right. Have an amazing day. Ooh, and I got the what is up with me and these hiccups? Mm, praise the Lord. So I have a surefire cure for hiccups. Oh, good. Um, you're gonna stretch your arms out as wide as you can. Like this? All the way, all the way, all the way out. And then with your two pointer fingers, just slowly bring them together in front of you. Just really, really slowly, slowly, slowly. And then when you get them in front of you, just hold it there for a few seconds. Like this? Yeah, you look strange doing it, but it works every time. <laughs> hey. They don't seem to be coming back. All right. Praise God. Okay. <laughs> okay I'm going to use that. I'm gonna use that. So if I start heat coming and I just stop and do that in the middle of the session. Y'all don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right. Have um, an amazing day. I'm, when I'm going to call you, Miss Ma'am. All right. Call a girl. Call her. Oh, I got to call her. I need yeah. Her. yeah, call me. I'm Give me a few minutes. I'm doing my morning report at work. Okay, well, I'm going to give you a few minutes. And I'm going to call you. I need to fly up there. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Blessings. 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 Love you, ladies.